Welcome back to the Jatai Academy. I'm Russell Mays, Director of Content, and today we're going to be doing an octopus cut. Now, the octopus haircut is basically a new vamped version of the Jennifer Aniston from early Friends days, but a little longer or a little shorter, you know, a little modified version of that. And today we're going to do a really long version, and I'm going to try to keep it more glam than uh, more punk rock. So we're going to start with a center section, hold that straight up 90 from the head, and I'm going to use my feather styling razor because it's easier for me to cut my layering with the feather styling razor than it is with the plie because it has a guard, so I don't have to be so careful about cutting my fingers. But it gives me a similar result. So I'm going to pull everything up. I cut my length about the tip of the nose, maybe a little longer, and then cut that straight back, pulling everything 90 from the head. Now, once I get to this section, you'll notice that I'm pulling that not at 90, but I'm pulling it straight up towards the ceiling. Now, when I start to layer hair and I'm pulling the hair out from the head at 90 degrees, that's going to give me the most uniform amount of fullness. As I start to over direct hair up, what it's going to do is it's going to cause the shape to collapse and it's not going to bubble out in a round shape. It's going to flatten the back out. So I'm going to make sure that I go from short in the crown, keeping my length, and pulling everything over directing it up towards the crown to maintain that length, but also to collapse the shape, because I don't want that to fill out real round and real bubbly. Here I'm taking my next section, which is parallel to the first section that I took, and I'm pulling everything into the center using my center section that I first cut as my guide for every subsequent section that I take going towards the side of the head over the ear. You see here that I'm pulling that straight up into the center of the head. And then I'll just take a small piece of my guide from underneath and from the previously cut section. Here I'm over directing up to make sure I maintain my length, but also to collapse the shape in the back. I think that's one thing that adds the, the, the little je ne sais quoi to the octopus cut is that it's not real full all over. It's flatter in the back, fuller in the front. Please check out our social media at Jatai Feather. Now here I'm going back and just cleaning up everything by placing my thumb against the guarded blade and then cutting any extra lengths off. Here I'm taking the rest of the hair on the side of the head. I'm taking a section at the top of the ear, pulling that up into the center, cutting anything that hangs over off. Now I'll start to pivot from the ear as I pie section that all the way towards the back because at the top I was taking you know section by section by section and it was a flat broad section ahead but over the ear I have to start taking pie sections so that I make a uniform amount of layering and it blends in without any kind of lumpiness and I don't have any gaps hanging over that's going to be too long or too short. Continuing to work that all the way into the back until I run out of hair. Pulling everything straight up. Here you can really see, you know, the thumb method of just taking the section, putting my thumb against the blade, and forcing the hair to touch it and pulling it off. Now the blade is at an angle, so I don't cut directly into my finger, but the guard will protect me as I have the blade at an angle, and then just cut the ends off. Now here we're going to go back to the other side. I took my original section that I had for the right side. I'm taking that exact same section and using that as a guide to cut the left side. Again, pulling everything up into the center from the half part of the head. Everything is pulled 90 degrees. Once it hits the crown, I start to over direct everything straight up. Again, pulling everything into the center, using that as my guide. So everything on this whole haircut, all the layering is going to be pulled to the center. Try to maintain the same stroke throughout the entirety of the haircut to make sure it's as uniform as possible. 
here, just making sure everything blends over on my overall length. And we're going to check out the layering and see how it feels. Now you can see it's a nice even amount of layering throughout. It's shorter in the center and it builds up a little weight as it goes towards the hairlines on the side of the head. Now here we're going to section out the front of the head so that I can clean up my layering and also start to work in my curtain bangs. I'll take a diagonal section from the first bump of the head as it's curving from the front hairline. I'll pull that at an angle parallel to my first section and then hold everything out off the peak curvature and then cut that down. And you'll see that I get shorter in the middle and longer towards the edges. Now here I'm just going to go through and not necessarily cut everything. I'm cleaning up whatever the shape was that the layering already gave me. By pulling everything straight up, it's going to give me a, a, a shape that mimics the hairline. And I want to make sure that everything is nice and smooth around the front section there. Now, if you haven't already, please give us a thumbs up, click subscribe, and the notification bell to be notified of any upcoming videos that we have. Now I'm going to take a small section right there in the middle and use that as the guide length for the left side so the sides match. I'm going to use a little bit of Jatai Blade Glide just to make sure that the razor is still going to slip through nice and, and evenly and smoothly. And now here you'll see that I'm pulling it right at that angle. There's my guide from the other side, the angle, and I'm matching that angle with my cut line. Over directing the section and cutting short to long. Now this next piece, I won't over direct. I'm going to pull straight forward off the peak curvature and follow whatever that line, that angle was that I had cut with my first section. Blend everything in on the left side just like the right. Now we're going to go through and cut our lengths and I'm going to go through and channel pretty deeply the entire perimeter length. So I'll go through and take a vertical section. Most of the layering is handling all that hair so I don't have a, a real solid perimeter, but I want to go through and channel that to make it more tenderly. Now you can be as aggressive with this as you want. You can make it really exaggerated or you can do something more subtle like I've done. You can see the separation on the bottom there. We're going to put a little texture spray into it and I'm just going to go through and start blowing dry. You can style this haircut a lot of different ways. You know, you can wash and go, and I think it would look really good. You can, you know, punk it out. You can glam it up like we're going to do today. But you got a lot of options. Blow dry the bangs and kind of a curtain bang to get that kind of swept over and give us a 70s vibe, a Bridget Bardot vibe. Please check out the Jatai Academy. There's a lot of great information on there, and uh, let us know what you want to see in the future.